Hello friends, today we will discuss about Sienna 3926 self view. So in picture you can see this is the Sienna 3926 self view and this is the picture with the pluggable module. So the right half portion, this right half portion is called the module slot. This can be fulfilled or this can be occupied either by uh, pluggable modules, TDM modules or X cross 86 NFP servo module. So you can see here in the picture, this is the Sienna 3926 chassis with the pluggable module. And this is the Sienna 3926 chassis with X cross 86 NFP servo module. So this is all about the right half portion. And this portion can be uh, equipped either by the pluggable module or the X86 NFP servo module. So let's uh, have a look about some features about this Sienna 3926. The 3926 features high uh, has a high capacity 82 Gbps switching fabric supporting 6 1 GB slash 10 GB SFP plus port. This is all about this these six ports and 200 M 1 GB SFP ports. This is about these two ports and one modular slot. This is the modular slot for TDM and virtual network function services. A modular slot is a field replaceable module. This can be used for distributed NFV uh, VNF hosting on an Intel X Intel Cross 86 server module for TDM service supporting so we have already discussed about this this is the module sort and this is a field replaceable you can either put the pluggable module tdm module or x cross 86 server module so the combination of tdm module can be like, uh, like this 16 cross ts1 even this is the tdm 16 cross ds1 even or 6 cross ds1 even plus 4 cross ds3 3 plus 4 cross OC3 12 STM14 or 1 cross OC48 STM16. We can put either AC or DC hot swappable power supplies in the chassis. You can see here, you can put either AC power supply or DC power supply, but the combination of, us of AC and DC supply is not possible. I mean, if you want uh, one slot is used for AC, one is for DC, then it is not possible. You have to put either both the AC power card or both the DC power card. Okay, so let's move on the next slide. So you can see here, this is the two power supply unit, either for AC, either AC or DC power supply. This is a two cross 1G cross uh, oblique 100 MSFP. So there are two port, one port and two port. These two port is 1G or 100 MSFP. This six port, one, two, three, four, five, six, is this six port is for six cross 10G 1G SFP. So this six port is 10G or 1G SFP, either 1G or either 10G. This is bits for synchronization. This is TOD P1 PPS. This is for the management port. This is the USB. This is the console and this is the modular slot that can be used either for TDM or virtual network functionization uh, function services. So if you use the pluggable module or you can use the X cross 86 NFC server module. The Sienna 3926 chassis occupies one rack unit of a standard 19-inch ETSI or 23-inch equipment rack. The power cabling connection and all the interfaces are located on the front of the chassis. You can see here all the interfaces and the power card is located on the front of the chassis. There are four fans, four built-in fans and which are visible from the back of the chassis. Means these four fans you can see from the back of the chassis. The chassis is powered by dual hot swappable AC or DC power unit. The power provided by one power unit is sufficient, means the chassis can be run only by uh, one power unit and the other is for the pro uh, redundancy. The installed power units can either be AC or DC, which I have already told the combination of AC and DC unit on the same chassis is not possible. When the two power units are connected to power, it is recommended that you use separate power feds, means if we are using both the power units so these two power units need to be fed from the separated power feds this is because why this configuration enables an inactive unit to be replaced while the chassis remain the operation so suppose if these two power supplies can be feeded by the separate power fed and one is faulty then we can change this inactive or faulty units with 
without resuming the operation. The system support dying gas functionality. What about the dying gas? Uh, what is the dying gas functionality? In the event of power failure, a dying gas notification is sent to the network. If syslog is enabled, then the notification also contains a syslog entry. When a system is powered by redundant power units, a dying gas message is only sent when the both unit loses the power. And what are the possible causes? Power failure in the power source, disconnection of AC or DC power source, failure of power supply unit. So this is all about the CNR 3926. Thank you.